Jack Hale has always been fast, really fast, but never quite fast enough. Yes, I was running 10-2 year in, year out, which is acceptable, but I think for where I want to be, it just wasn't acceptable in my head. He's been to the Commonwealth Games, but the Olympics has so far eluded the sprinter, once dubbed the world's fastest schoolboy. Now 24 years old, he knows time is running out to reach the pinnacle. This is it for me, and I haven't really said that to many other people, but in my head it's like, if I can't be competitive at 26, what am I going to do at 30? So I think in my head it's like, all right, if we're talking specifically Olympics, this is the last one to have a real good crack at it. It's why he's moved back to his hometown of Hobart after an eight-year stint in Melbourne. I think I made that big change now to come back here and hopefully get myself in. Like my goal is to go 10-0 this year and then hopefully, you know, sub-10 in an Olympic year, which is going to take a lot of, a lot of everything. The Tasmanian capital is now Sprint City, home to three of the nation's fastest men. Originally when I said I was moving back people were a bit sceptical but um, it's paid off. I've ran quicker than I ever have and um, I've got a good support team and network around me. Jack Hale, Jacob Despard and Jagger Pibus are the three fastest Tasmanians of all time. Despard and Hale formed half of the Australian relay team in Birmingham, now part of a trio leading a golden era in Tasmanian sprinting. We had a race on Wednesday night and six Tasmanians in the race went sub-11. Um, I might be wrong, but I don't know if that's ever happened. Pibus is the youngest of the three at 21 years old. He might be the quickest of the lot. So currently my PB is 10.40 for the 100. Uh, I've done a 10.27 with a, an illegal tailwind and for the 200, a 21.10. He'll find out how fast he is this week when the Christmas Carnival series kicks off in Hobart. Jagger, Jack and Jacob will go head to head in Hobart, Devonport and Burnie. I haven't had a look at the handicaps yet, but you know I'd like to think that I'd be pretty hard to catch. A battle for the ages looming between Tasmania's lightning men. Chris Rowbottom, ABC News.